Hey guys, Jessica Wallace here, continuing my series about 15 things I've learned in 15 years in real estate in Santa Cruz County. One thing I've learned a lot about is homes, maintenance of homes, construction of homes, and who to call to take care of what. At this point in my career, I have a pretty large network um, and people that I can call contractors, landscapers, cleaners, painters, stagers, a whole crew and team of people that I know that are very good and that are very re reliable that I can call to help my clients get their house ready for sale or help my um, buyers who have just bought a property that want to do a big remodel or just even fix a couple little things. There's different people that you can call for different types of jobs, big jobs versus small jobs, something that needs to be done really quickly. I know who to call for what at this point. So that's been really nice to grow my network of um, trusted vendors that I can refer with confidence. I'm also always looking for new people. If you have um, ever done any construction, remodeling, repairs in Santa Cruz, you know that it can be really hard to find a good contractor that will even call you back. Right now, if you want to get your roof fixed or get a new roof put on, you might be waiting many months to get that appointment to get it done. We don't have um, that many contractors here to fill the need sometimes. So I'm finding that people, the good people are really getting booked up. So um, I am always looking for new people that are good, that are reliable, that will return your phone calls within you know a, a day or so. So if you know anybody or if you are somebody that would like to be part of my network, I would love to talk to you and hear from you and see what you do and learn about your business and we can um, you know work together and I can put you on my list of trusted referrals. So one thing I've learned in 15 years of real estate is who to call for what. And I've seen so many different um you know, people get several different bids sometimes when they're uh, doing a major remodel and they can come in wildly different, um, many thousands of dollars different, even on smaller items sometimes. And you do want to get several different bids when you're getting a big project done, but you don't always want to go with the least expensive one. That can really be a big mistake. I've seen that time and time again where oh, this one is $20,000 less. Let's go with that. But at the end of the day, after the extra time it takes and all the add-ons, you actually end up paying more than you would have with somebody else. So um, I know it's really hard sometimes to find a good tr uh, contractor or a vendor or somebody that you can trust. So um, if you do need some help, please feel free to reach out to me. I can give you some recommendations and referrals and uh, see if I can help. So uh, thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day.